we get a lot of samples here at Goody Reader. More so than we know what to do with. At the end of each video, we'll give the item away. This is Unboxing ePaper. Well, we're here with episode three of Unboxing ePaper. Thank you guys so much for making this kind of a little bit of a smaller success. I have a big feeling that it has a lot to do with us giving you the stuff for free at the end of the video, which is fine. That's half the idea and the whole fun of it. And as per usual, we have our guys standing, guys and gals, standing off uh, the side of the camera. And I do not know what they're going to throw me or what we're even filming and at the very time of this filming in the studio until you guys throw it to me. So hit me with it. One and two. There's two things. I saw you holding two things. Okay, okay. I know what this is. I've seen this many a time. This is kind of the thing you program with, like Raspberry Pi and use uh, GitHub and stuff like that. It's got a bunch of ports on it. I know what this is. I have no idea what this is. This big block. I didn't know they were going to throw me a second thing. It's called the M5 Tough. I'm assuming it is the central hub that you plug into the USB because it's got a full-size USB on the back, but we won't really know until we get into everything. So let's head over to the desk and figure this all out together. All right, at the desk today, I want you guys to know something right off the bat. I have no idea what this does. I understand it's a developer kit. I looked into it a little bit. I can't help you today. So this video is about you getting free stuff because I don't know how to do this. I understand you hook it up. There's different things that come with the, the territory in developing. There's those little panels you can buy on AliExpress and Wish that you can control with GitHub and Raspberry Pi and all that kind of stuff. So I get it to the fundamental degree that you're able to put things on here and it has a lot of the necessary things on board in order to test. It has a root storage. It also has an SD, which is like a detachable storage. It has a 4.7 inch screen so you're gonna have to format things in order to properly show it at the 960 540 resolution so if it's too big it won't fit etc it also has different things on board like it has USB so when you put the USB do you want it to connect to storage do you want it to start charging do you want a file explorer there's all these different things you can do now you can also do uh, testing when it comes to things in the SD, the root SD, we already talked about that, but it also has the ability to do Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so you can connect things to that, and you can control different apparatuses and appliances in your house. So given that you may have a very expensive LED lamp bulb, this looks like a fluorescent or incandescent, but it's not, it's an LED. So you could put it in your socket and connect it to your home Wi-Fi networks. And when you go ba-doom, it'll turn on. You go ba-doom, it'll turn off. And all of these respectively. So as long as the respective appliance has the ability to connect to your home network and you program this properly, you will be able to connect these and actually alter the experience of those things like the heat of this the intensity of that the timing of your rice cooker etc so there's a lot you can do with this thing it really is a very very it leaves it up to you this thing is so technical i i don't even know what this is i have no idea and and, and this is a this is the beauty of this video is that you can forgive me because you're getting this stuff for free so when we do our testing on things completely outside of our expertise the only thing this has to do with us is for us to give back to the community to you guys and the fact that this has an e-paper screen that's it the extent of our knowledge does not extend past this we're the kings of our own segment, but a developer kit M5 paper stack is really just for us to give you guys something back and have a little fun with you guys along the way. But yeah, needless to say, we have no idea how to program any of this. We have programmers in our team, but we're not about to send this to them and get them to do a, a whole teardown on this and you know program some stuff into it. Because again, this is just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a look into what we get on a daily basis. And yeah, join the contest down below, everybody. When it comes to looks, from the front of the M5 paper, it has no real industrial design to it as it's just a slab. And when you look at the sides and the back, it is very unappealing as all the ports are exposed and there's instructional maps on where everything goes as it is a dev device. So we'll give it some slack, but aesthetics gets a 2 out of 5. When it comes to use, this thing is up to the end user and it gets the highest possible score because it really just comes down to what you want to use it for. You can connect to Wi-Fi, you can program in your own games, control your ceiling fan, or even just use it as a photo frame, so it gets a 5 out of 5. 
When it comes to cost, it's not the most expensive thing in the e-ink world, but it's not free. In fact, at $120 USD, it'll still run you two Kindle Basics side by side, so it gets a 2 out of 5. In terms of customization, obviously this is what you make of it. It's got the ingredients to be a good dev kit with capacitive touch, multiple ports, and different wireless connections. As per usual, thank you guys so much for watching this. We're trying to get the series off the ground. It's episode three right now. If you guys start losing interest in it, let us know. If you want to still see these weird oddities come through the company in uh, our Goody Reader Japan office, at least where we conduct these reviews in the studio. And if you want free stuff, keep it going. As per usual, the first 20 comments are entered into the draw. To get this, once we're pick a name after out of the hat, essentially is what we do, we'll just send you the thing free. Uh, it'll be tracking directly to you anywhere in the world so you don't have to worry about where you live. Thank you guys so much. It takes a lot of people to get this going, a lot of moving parts in this whole production. Till the next one, everybody. Have a great day.